Okay, let me tell you about it. Every time I think about it, it still drives me crazy. I was on my way to the classroom and decided to confront the situation. So I said, you think I can manage two girls? You don't know the big brother at all. I've got a really cool plan to make Zoe do many assignments so I can just completely focus on Anna, you know? But those guys messed everything up. She just told me, Oh, Eddie, they were also struggling with their studies, so I told them about your tutoring. I know you're a good guy, so you wouldn't mind, would you? Wouldn't I? Of course I would. Look at them. They're ruining everything. What am I going to do with them? Of course, I couldn't tell her that. But then I thought, Calm down, Eddie. It's not such a big deal. If I just kick them away, she would just suspect my intentions, and we don't want that, right? I can still manage those kids. Or so I thought. They were hard as rocks, but still, I didn't give up and I tried my best to show them that I can teach them something. Oh, but now, listen here. This is where it all gets tricky. Somehow, the word was known that I was giving free classes. Can you believe it? Free classes! And I know it's not a secret that my brain is valued in gold around here, so all those low graded students started coming to my special tutoring. And it wouldn't be a problem if they were smart enough to understand my teachings, but I just couldn't handle it. So that's why I came to you. I'll need your help for this. This is a lot more than I can take. And the question is, are you willing to help me? It was Friday morning, and all the students and staff from BMA started loading the school buses. As part of their activities, the students arrive at different places and go out in search of people with needs. Their intention is to give them a helping hand with the best smile possible. It's such an incredible experience. Yes, you might get a few tired feet, but you will earn a warm heart. That way, everybody feels involved and is enriched by so many blessings. Well, you just have to look at this as a very fun activity. At the end of the day, students accomplish something. Much more than just academic growth. It's also personal and spiritual growth. Jennifer wasn't feeling very well about herself these days. She did exactly what she thought would be the solution for her future, and still, she hadn't found a solid answer. Months had passed, and as school was going on, she felt like time had run out, and she wouldn't be able to find her vocation before school ended. She started questioning herself about what should she do next? So, are you for sure you're leaving next week? Yeah, I'm leaving on Monday. I'm gonna miss this place.
Although Jake had found Will's program to be just a little less than effective for him, he still stuck to the exercises. He wanted to make sure he could be as good a server as Will was. Try again. Dude, you have to use your whole wrist every time you hit the ball. You have to hit fast and use your whole wrist. You have the strength, you just need the technique. They not only work together in the volleyball training, but also in their special assignments given in class. Yeah, but what do you think about this one? Uh, oh, dude, you're right, bro. Yeah, that's nice, man. And because of the deal, they saw each other just about constantly. Yo, Jay, the colored one's going a different one to the white. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but you have to use yeah, yeah, the hot water and the white one and the cold one and the dark. And with every practice, they started getting to know each other just a little bit better. Here you go. Right. Did you put uh, olives in it? Nope. Any oil? I two teaspoons. I don't know. You put sunflower seeds? Yes. I put all your food in there, okay? Everything you ask for is in there. All right. Eat your food. Right. And for Will, it wasn't that bad either. Somehow, he began to enjoy spending time with someone besides himself. Hey, you want a snack? It wasn't wrong to say that Will didn't have many friends, so. Spending some time with Jake was indeed a change of routine. No, use your whole, no, the whole wrist. Like, no, like your whole arm, not just like, not this, like your whole arm. Okay, so do you know the globe in the lobby? Yeah. All right, so I was thinking, you think we can use that for our presentation and like show how the world like spins normally? You think it'll be all right? You know, that's not a terrible idea. Okay, thanks man. So you got your sandwich, no ketchup, just the veggie meat for some reason. Uh, I got you your salad, no olives, sunflower seeds, two teaspoons of oil, you got five cucumbers in there, and a side of croutons. You've learned, man. All right. Hey, uh, do you mind if I sit? No, no, go ahead. Oh, sweet, all right. Okay. On the other part of BMA, things were getting heated. A group which had once gotten together to collect debts now it was getting together for a different purpose. One with good deeds. Hey, you already know how this works. Get into your groups. To Eddie and everyone else's surprise, Skipper, Zero, and Adam took their job seriously and they were able to do a really great job. So it was in the year 1912 where it all happened. If you're having trouble remembering the day, just think about it like this. The age which you'll be when you graduate BMA and the number of Jesus' disciples. You see, 19 and 12. It's easy to remember when you have dates that can help you out and references. Come on, bro. This is the easiest sample that they have. How do you not know what these dots are? Mm. Are you sure you don't know? 
Mm. Is that the license song? There you go, exactly. I knew you knew it, bro. You got it. Good job. They may not have been the smartest, but they and did have there. their own way to teach others. And you cross them, cross them. Then in the top, in the bottom, the same thing. Okay, at least you guys learned something new. What is that? Looks like he just started a study group by his own. They began changing their routine little by little in order to make this new project work. Hey guys, I have a huge favor to ask you guys. Uh, well... Not right now, we're studying, sorry. This new system had started to become something very popular among the other students. Hey, Eddie, nope. could you help me with my economics assignment? There was something I didn't understand. Uh, sure, let's see it. It's this question. Each time, more and more kids started taking the tutoring, and that forced Eddie and his friends to make a few changes in their structure. The number of people attending the tutoring really didn't matter. Classes never stopped, and they were able to deal with it. With the many contacts and friends, Eddie managed to make everything work. He scheduled the students and the classes so that everyone was able to attend without any problems. It worked even better for him, because he was not only able to spend more time with Anna, also was able to fulfill his duties as an ambassador. All had worked perfectly for him. There was no way it could be damaged. I don't think I need tutoring anymore. But thank you. You, you really helped me improve my grades. And, but now that I'm going to be a part of Aerial Airs, I need to spend my afternoons practicing on that. Or so he thought. Even after all the training, something was still bothering Jake. Why was he still not able to serve? He had followed every direction, but still, he was the same as at the beginning. Oh, hey, bro. Someone put this in my book. I don't know who did, but can you go throw it out for me? Thank you. Time passed and the weekend arrived. As usual, all the students head out to church to have their worship service. They sang, prayed, and worshiped God together. It's always nice to see the students giving their talents in praise and worship to God. Students at BMA had a really good opportunity to put this into practice. It was during that service when Jennifer heard something special. Doing or being a part of, of, of the mission is, is just organic. It's who you are. You don't have to be a special in terms of being a doctor, a nurse, or a professional. You just have to find a need and meet it. A selfless act of service. Jesus went about doing good. And also, you can go about doing good. It could be your neighbor. It could be someone who's your friend, someone you don't even know. Just being a part of the mission like Jesus was in his community. Early in the morning of the next day, everybody woke up to receive a beautiful Sabbath at BMA.
After getting ready, everybody headed out to the church, which is located at the center of the campus. The worship service was held by the students under the supervision of the pastor, who worked together to have a blessed and beautiful time. EMA produces a lot of groups which take turns in going on tours to the churches and cities around. Sometimes they even go to cities far away. Or perhaps, huh, in some cases, even other countries. La Sonnet is a group in which kids play the handbells to worship and praise God. Jennifer was a part of this group. She was a very active and enthusiastic member of La Sonnette Bell Choir. You know what is good thing about BMA? We make good friends here. But the best thing is actually that friendship will last forever. I'm a strong believer that once you come to BMA, you meet a new family here. We can all be from different parts of the world. Some of you even speak different languages and talk in a different way. But it's amazing to see how we all become part of one beloved family. I'm sure the seniors can agree with me. And those who are just starting their freshman year, I'm looking forward to hearing the experiences you're going to gather during your time here. Once you graduate and leave BMA, you'll realize the friends you made along the way in this academy will last a lifetime. Those days were really challenging for Melissa. She had made a strong bond with Erica, and now she was leaving. She started questioning what she would do when Erica was gone. When the time came for Erica to leave, Melissa really felt sad. It was so very difficult for her to say goodbye to such a very close friend. Melissa, yeah. how are things going? Fine, I guess. 
I know it can be difficult when your friend leaves and y'all were so close, but I'm excited news. We have a new student coming. Really? Yeah, she's an international student just like you. Her name is Sophia, and she'll be here in two days. And I think y'all will be the best of friends. Oh, someone left something for you. Who gave me this? Another good friend of yours. Can you at least try to make it look like you're putting in effort? All this time practicing and you're just not showing any progress. Look, Will, if we actually maybe played where we're supposed to play volleyball. Don't try to skip steps. You gotta master the wall before you can even think about going out to the court. What is this, bro? Wow. What do you want me to do? Can you, can you at least make me believe that I'm not wasting my time here? You know, I want to feel the same way, man. What do you even mean by that? Oh, oh, okay, okay, mister. Let's get down here, put my hands up, rotate, bring it back. Oh, there we go, great job. All right, let's do it one more time. How is this helping me in any type of way? What is, are you questioning my methods? Me, who wouldn't? You're telling me to do all these useless, they make no sense. All these exercises, look. I'm literally doing them just the way you want me to. And every time I do, where do they go? Nowhere. They don't go over the net. They just go outside. You lack confidence. I... <laughs> Alright. You just need to start believing in yourself. Me? That's funny. Okay, that's funny. From someone who can't even do his own laundry, bro. What are you trying to say? You're no good at serving? You want to pin that on me? It's your method. It's useless. Are you questioning my program? Are you serious? Just as you're a useless player, oh, you want to spike this, spike that, spike everything. You know, without my techniques, you just use the show off. Wait, look, I don't have time for this, dude. I'm literally going to leave. You can keep your stupid program to yourself. Oh, what? Little poor disabled Will made you cry. Too much of the truth for you to handle. You want to quit now, huh? Well, then go ahead. You know, Will, you're a really arrogant guy. Like, all you ever want people to do is to do whatever you want and you use the stupid excuse because you're disabled. You know, Will, that's why people hate you. You care about nothing else but yourself. No one can stand you. I, <laughs> I really thought I could. But the truth is, you're really just a selfish and indifferent guy. Like you're any different. Well, what can I say? Today was tough. I don't know if it was just me or these three days felt like 10,000 years. Yeah, it hasn't been easy lately. Honestly, Erika was the reason why I was able to do a lot of things from the ambassador's project. Now that she's gone, I don't know how am I supposed to keep up with it. Without Anna in the tutoring class, I don't even see a reason to keep having these classes. She was the only reason I started this, after all. What should I do? I feel like I'm running out of time, and no matter how hard I try, I still haven't found what I wanted to do for a living. This week I heard something interesting in church, but... I still don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I want to say I helped Will for the sake of my volleyball serves or the ambassador thing, but... Why did I truly do it after all? Sometimes I think my project is just not good enough. And that makes me really sad. I just hope that I'm able to handle whatever comes next. I don't really like big changes. I think I should just quit all these things. It's only taking my time and who's appreciating it anyways? Yeah, 
I'm going to drop the tutoring class. If I keep doing this the way I am, I'm gonna graduate and I'll never know what to do next. This guy is so problematic, but I feel like he's right, you know, and I'm no different. So if I can barely stand him, does that mean people think they're the same about me? Wait, you're not gonna pray? Uh, never mind. Some cucumbers, some sub. Sunflowers. Okay, 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 okay. Sure, let's see it. <laughs> okay. In aerial airs. I need to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> see, I said it right because I always say aerial Aries and not. Is the only requirement. Who gave me this? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> You know you're a really arrogant dude, Will. Okay. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh, no! No! Why'd you laugh? Because you're like you're really different. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry! 